Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make an e-commerce website like this using HTML and CSS and this website is also responsive as well. Let me just show you. Here, if I make the skin smaller, there you can see the option is gone and here you can see we have a menu bar here. And look at the image, if I make it more smaller, there you can see it is responsive and there you can see the footer is also responsive as well if i make it bigger there you can see footer will look like this let me just go at the top and it will just make it smaller here there you can see we have a menu bar and if we click on this menu bar it will show us all the menu here like this so i'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning how we can make something like this so first of all we're going to make the nav bar here here you can see we have the menu option here so we're going to make this first so for it, let's go back to our core and here you can see you have some basic structure, HTML structure. So first of all, we're going to mention the nav tag. So inside this nav tag, first of all, I'm going to mention the tag called level and here we're going to give it a name. Let's say the name will be my ecom and uh, after this level, we're going to mention a UL tag. Then inside the UL tag, we're going to have a LI tag. Then in the li tag, we'll have an anchor tag, like this. Okay, so in the href, for now, we'll give a hash. So right now, we're going to copy this li, and I'm going to paste it four times. One, two, three, and four. So in the first one, let's say here home. Then here, we're going to say, let's say products. In the third one, let's say contact. This one will be register, let's say register, and this one will be login. So right now, if we set this, and if we just refresh our browser here, there you can see we have the label my ecom, and we have some option here. So first of all, we're going to have a background color here for the nav part. So for it, let's go back to our code. And here, we're going to create a style.css file. So I'll just click on my folder, then click on new file. Our file name would be style.css, control s, then save. So first of all, what we're going to do is that we're going to connect our style.css with our index file. So for it, we're going to say here link. Then in this href, we're going to mention this style.css. So we say here style.css. After that, in the style.css, first of all, we'll give a star here, then we'll give to second bracket. Let's say here padding will be zero, margin will be zero as well. We'll also say here box sizing, box sizing, it will be border box, text decoration, it will be none. So for the anchor tag, the text decoration will be none, and the list style, I mean the li tag will be list style will be none as well. If we now save this, then if we now refresh there will be no padding and margin and the underline and list style will be gone it means this dot dot sign will be gone as well if we now refresh there you can see it will look like this so let's go and have a background color dark blue here so for it let's go back and in here you can see inside the nav tag we have everything here the level and also all the list so here we're going to mention the nav tag then we'll give it to second bracket we're going to set here background will be dark blue and we are going to mention the height of the background so let's say here height it will be 80 ps if we now say then refresh here there you can see we have a dark blue background here so first let's make the color for this my icon to white and let's have it over here so for it let's go back and here you can see that we have a label inside the label we have the text my ecom so inside the label we mention a class let's say here my underscore logo so we're going to write some css for this class so let's go to our style.css and we're going to say here dot my logo to second bracket the text color will be white then the font size for the text let's say it will be 25 px and font weight it will be bold if we now save 
then the refresh here there you can see it will look like this so let's have it in the center so for it what we are going to do is that here we mentioned height is 80 pa so here we are going to say line height it will be 80 px same as this height and we are going to say also padding it will be 0 and 100 px so if we now save it refresh there you can see it is in the center so let me just change the font design or the text design anything with so for it we are going to say here let's just say mention the body tag and in the body tag uh, here you can see everything is inside the body tag right so we are going to mention the text design or or text font family let's say here font family it will be monospace so if you now set this then just notice that text design if we now refresh here then you can see the text design changed so let's have those on the right side so for it let's go back and here you can see inside the nav tag we have the event tag and inside this event tag we have everything here all the list so we are going to set here the nav tag then the event tag so we want to show those on the right side so we are going to set here floor it will be right and let's also make some space at the right side so we are going to say margin right it will be 60 px save then refresh here and there you can see everything is on the right side and there you can see there is some space as well margin right space so let's have it in a single line so for it what we need to do is that we need to mention the nav tag event tag and then the li tag so here we are going to say nav ul li then to second bracket we'll say display it will be inline block it means we want to show those in a single line let's also mention the line height as well so i can just copy it from here line height and let's also add a margin among the list so let's say here 0 5 px save it refresh and there you can see it look like this so right now let's change the text font size so for it we are going to uh, go to here and here you can see our text is inside the anchor tag so this time we are going to say nav ul then li then the anchor tag then to second bracket let's say here font size it will be 17 px and let's also make them upper guess so let's say here text transform it will be upper guess save it refresh and there you can see it will look like this so right now let's do one thing that is when you hover our cursor on those options the color should change so let's say the color will be yellow so for it let me just copy this nav ul li anchor tag paste it here we are going to give a glow we'll say here power to set in bracket let's say the color will be yellow now if we refresh and if we take our car shot there you can see the color changed to yellow so let's go and make this responsive uh, so for it let me just show you if i just right click and then click on inspect there you can see it will look like this at the beginning it will look like this but when the skin width gets smaller it will look like this so we need to make this responsive so for it what you need to do is we are going to create a menu bar or a option here to click well and when you click on that option it will show us those menu so for it we'll go to our index file and after the level we are going to say input type it will be check box and here we are going to mention a id let's say the id will be check and for this id we are going to have a level and inside this level we are going to have a i tag so in the level we are going to say for and here we are going to mention this id call to check inside this for so in this i tag we are going to mention a font or some icon so for it we need to get the font or some cdl for it we need to go to our browser and we need to search here font 
awesome CDN press enter and then go to this link cdnjs cdnjs.com and just copy the first one so from here just click on the middle icon if you click on it there you can see it get copied after that we we'll go back to our port and we we'll paste it inside the head section so right now inside this item we are going to mention a class and the class will be file file bars like this if we now say then if we refresh here there you can see we have the checkbox and we have the font awesome icon here there you can see so let's have this font awesome icon on the right side for it what we need to do is again we need to make this dot right so here inside this level we are going to mention a class let's say here check button btn so we are going to write some css for this check btn let's go to our style.css we are going to say here dot check btn into second bracket we are going to say float it will be prior and let's also mention a color for it let's say color will be white if we now save it then refresh here there you can see we have a font of some icon but here on the right side so let's position it over here in the middle so for it i am just going to copy the line height 8 dpx from here and paste it here let's also increase the font size for the bar let's say font size will be 30 dpx save it refresh and there you can see so let's have some space at the right side on it we are going to say margin right it will be 40 bx save it refresh and there you go so right now uh, there you can see that if i click on this bar this will get checked if i now click on it there you can see this got checked that reason is we write here id call to check and in the label we say or equal to check it means whenever we click on the bar the check box will get checked now let me just explain something the thing is we do not need to see this bar when our skin size is big enough to show us those options right now we are going to make this display now so we are going to say here in the uh, check button we are going to say display it will be none if we now save this and refresh here there you can see the bundle is gone so we are going to do the same thing for this check button as well and here you can see that for the check button we mentioned here id call to check so since this is a id we need to give a hash here then we say check and we are going to say display it will be none save it refresh and there you go so when are we going to show those bar when the skin width is smaller than a certain pixel so let me just right click and then click on inspect and if we just make this smaller there you can see after 750 px at the top you will see the pixel 35 pixel the test come on the downside so let's we'll just make it after let's say 750 pixel we'll show the menu bar and we we'll make this menu hidden we'll understand it don't worry so here we're going to say at the top media to first bracket we'll say here max width let's say it will be 750 pixel and we'll give to second bracket like this so first of all what we are going to do is that we are going to mention this check button over here then we will give to second bracket so here we say display none so here we are going to set display it will be block it means it will show us the menu bar if we now say refresh here and when we make our skin width smaller than a certain width it will show us the menu bar there you can see so right now we are going to make some design changes for this menu option so for it here you can see that those option is inside the li tag so we'll write some css inside this max with uh, inside this media 
we're going to write the CSS design for the event tag. So we're going to say here, position, it will be fixed. And we're going to add a background color. Let's say background color will be dark blue. If we now save, then refresh, there guess there's now a background color. So we'll have this in the center, also add some padding as well. So let's go back. So first of all, let's make the width. It will be 100%. Uh, let's also mention a height. Let's say height will be 100 kh. And let's say top will be 60 pl. Let me just show you how it will look. I guess it will look like this. So let's have it in the center. For it, we are going to say text align. It will be center. Let me save and refresh here. There you go. It is in the center. Now we want to show those in a different line, all those options. So how can we do it? So in order to do that, we are going to say here, nav, ul, then li, then to second bracket, we will say here display, it will pick block. It means it will show all those menu options in different light. If we now refresh, there you can see it will look like this. Now the thing is, uh, when we click on this bar, only then we want to show this or we want to see this menu option. So what we are going to do is that inside this event there, we are going to say left, it will be minus 100%. If we now save it, then refresh, then you can see it is not our here. So we want to show this when we click on this main word. So for it, what can we do is we are going to say here hash, we are going to mention the check. So we are going to say here hash check. Then give a clone, we are going to say here, checked. Then this sign, we are going to say here, ul, then to second bracket. So the thing is, whenever we click on this icon, the checkbox get checked. And when the checkbox get checked, we are going to say here, name, it will be 0px. Basically, we are saying the left will change from minus 100 percent to zero gives for the ul here you can see ul ul that okay so right now if we save it then refresh here there you can see it is not showing if we click on this it will show us all the menu and let's have those color to be white so i'm going to say uh inside the anchor tag nav ul li anchor tag i'm going to say here color it will be white and let's also say here transition all 0.5 seconds. Let's set it. Refresh here. If we now click on it, it will appear like this. If we click on it, it will remove like this. So we are able to completely make our navbar responsive so right now let's go and add a cover image here so here you can see that we have a cover image like this and i have the cover image over here in the downloads file so this is the cover image so i'll just cut this from here and i'm going to paste it in my folder so there you can see cover.png and if i just go to my code there you can see we have cover.png here. So after the nav tag, we're going to mention another div. And in this div, we're going to have the image. I'm going to say here the image tag in the source. I said cover.png. And one more thing, uh, I'll give this image download link in the description. Just check it out. And if you want, uh, you can use different image for the cover image. But I will suggest you the cover image dimension should be uh, around 7000 px width. Okay. Uh, here you can see the image dimension is uh, for this image 6912. So make sure to download a image with a larger width. Because that will look good as a cover. So let me just set this. And if we now refresh here, it will look like this. Obviously, we need to fix the image. 
So I'm going to mention a class here. Let's say class the movie my underscore cover. Let's go to our style.css. And after this second bracket, I'm going to say here dot my underscore cover to second bracket less the image width it will be hundred percent and let's say hide with me 250 ps if we now save it then refresh it will look like this obviously this doesn't look good so we are going to say here object fit it will be covered or they can say they are content as well, but I think cover will look good. We'll say they are cover, refresh, and they can see it for our image depending on our skin height and width. And this will be responsive as well. Let me just make it smaller here. There you can see it will look good in all width. So after this, we are going to make some product card here. So for it, let's go back. And let's go dot index dot php. Let's mention another div here. So in this div, I'm going to say here class. Let's say class name will be my underscore car. And I'm going to mention another div. In this div, we'll say class. The class will be less only car. So inside the car, we'll have our image look like this. Here you can see our image, a title, a small description, price, and a buy now button. So let's go back and let me do one more thing that is here I'm going to say A3, let's say products. And for this I'm going to write some simple CSS. So and this A3 tag is inside my card. So I'm going to say here dot my underscore card then the s3 tag to second bracket let's set text align it will be in the center the font size it will be 25 pixel i think that's fine save it refresh and then oh, let's also have some padding as well padding will be 20 pixel okay so right now here uh, in this my class card let's add the image so let me just copy the image from the download section so here you can see i have five images here so i'll just cut this from here and i'm going to create a folder here so i'll just right click click on new folder folder name will be images and in this images folder i'm going to paste all the image there you can see let me just make it bigger there you go so let's go back and here you can see in the folder we have some image so let me just show the odds image first let's say here odds dot the extension is jpeg so i'm going to say here jpeg and after the image we have the title description and the price and the bottle so i'm going to say here the p tag and in this p tag let's say here watch or let me just say here h4 pack i think that will be better let's say h4 then i'm going to mention a p tag here we are going to have some small description let me just write random text here and let me just copy some text from here control c and i'll paste it here let me remove some text here to here and after this we are going to have the price we we'll keep it inside the p tag we are going to say price it will be 30 dollar and let's also have a button here a buy now button we are going to say here buy now if we save it then refresh here it will look like this okay the image is broken we have the watch some description price and buy now button the image is missing because our image is inside the images folder so i'm going to say here images slash watch let me show you 
there you can see the image is showing and the image is to be so right now let's go and fix the design so for the card we'll mention a width uh, so for it let's go back and here you can see we have d plus card so for this card we're going to mention a width so let's go to style.css we're going to set here dot card then to second bracket we're going to set here max width it will be 330 bits then we set here text align it will be center let me save it and refresh here there you can see the text are in the center but obviously the image size is too big we need to fix the image size but let me just create a box here so in order to create a box i'm going to set here box shadow it will be 0 4 px 8 px again 0 and let's mention rgpn we're going to say okay i think this is fine if we now save it then refresh there you can see it created a box here and there you can see inside the card we have the images right so i'm just going to say here class p underscore image then we'll go to style.css and we're going to say here dot e underscore image to second bracket we'll say here width it will be 100 percent so it will take the card full width since the image is inside the curve if we now just refresh here there you can see the image is inside the card so let me just add some margin and padding as well so here uh, inside this card i'm going to say margin it will be 15 px and padding it will be 15 px save it then refresh and there you go you can add more padding if you want i think uh 25 and 25 will be better refresh and there you go so let me just show some other card using different image so for it what we need to do is that here you can see we have the plus card so i'm going to copy this t and i'm going to paste it here and in this one let's get the show image so let's say here show and the for the show the extension is jpg let's say here show the price will be on thirty dollar after that let's get the phone image so i'm going to say here phone the phone extension is jpg this one will be phone the price will be 830 dollar we have two more beam okay let me just show you for now set then refresh and there you can see it will look like this and it will be in different light since everything is inside a page so we want to show those in a single light so for it what we need to do is really simple there you can see all the card is inside class my underscore card so we are going to write some css for this so we say here on my underscore card then to second bracket we we'll say here display it will be flex then we we'll say flex or flex or it will be or we also make those in the center so we we'll say here justify content it will be center let's also say here align items it will be center if we now save this then it refresh here it will look like this so it will look like okay let's have this product outside my cart so here you can see products so i'll just cut this and i will paste this here is three so let's say here class a class will be p underscore title let me just copy this from here and i write the css like this or my card is three that i'll just directly say here p underscore title if we now refresh so see and let's also have this h3 inside a t 
like this. So control X, control V. Save it, then refresh, and there you go. So let me just show you or add a few more products. So here I am going to copy this T and paste it here. This time here you can see makeup. So let me say here. Makeup dot JPG. We are going to say price will be four hundred. Title will be makeup, and we have one more image which is camera. So let's say here camera. The extension is JPEG. You say here camera, and the price would be eighteen hundred. Save, then refresh here. There you can see. So let's make some design for the text as well. And let's also add some padding as well. So for it, let's go pair. And here you can see the title is beside the H4 tag. And the H4 tag is beside the class call card. So I'm going to say here dot card a H4. We are going to say padding 10 px. Then here we have the p tag. So for p tag again, we are going to say here card mention the p tag to second bracket. Padding will be 10 px. And before card, I need to keep a dot here. Then we are going to write some CSS for the anchor tag. For it, I am going to say here dot card anchor tag. To second bracket, let's say padding 10px and for the anchor tag, I'm going to add a background color. Let's say background color will be sky blue. If we now save it, then you trash, it will look like this. So let's make it round. So I'm going to say here border radius, it will be 10%, it will make the background round and let's also add margin it will be 10 px save then refresh so let me just add some space among those as well so here i'm going to some margin 10 px save it refresh and there you go and there's a few more things that we can do is that only hover our Cursor on the card, the color of the shadow might change. Also, the color for this anchor tag should change as well. So, for it, what I'm going to do is here, let me just copy this card anchor tag, paste it here. I'm going to say here power. Let's say the color will change to uh, background color will change to black, and the text color will be white. Let me just show you this one first. Refresh and if I take my cursor, there you can see the color change to black. And this is responsive as well because we mentioned uh, here display place or just a content center. So if we just make our skin smaller, if we just make our skin smaller here, you will notice that it will go to different light. There you can see. And if we make it bigger, it will start showing in a single line, like this. So let's we just add a shadow when we power our cursor on the card as well. So for it, we are going to say, uh, here we can see card. Here we make the shadow, box shadow. So what we are going to do is that, we are going to say card, roll over to second bracket. Let me just copy this box shadow and paste it here. We can choose different color from here. Let me just keep random on and on here. And let's say here 14, this one will be 18. And let's say here 0 and 0, no, no. And this from RGB, let's say here sky blue. Save it. Then refresh, if I take my cursor, there gets the color change to sky blue. So right now, we are going to create the footer section. So how can we make the footer section? This is really simple. Let's go back 
let's put our index file and here we are going to mention another div inside this div let's say here class will be footer and here we are going to mention another div and in this div the class name will be footer underscore content so before this we are going to mention another div and in this div we are going to say class and the class name will be footer underscore title let's say the title will be inside the h3 tag title will be my ecom if we now set this then refresh here so there you can see my ecom so we are going to add a few more option or few more text here for the footer then we'll make the design so here you can see we have footer content so inside the footer content we are going to have a team and in this team let's say here h4 tag we are going to set services and in this services let's have the p tag and in the p tag we are going to mention the anchor tag so let me just copy this p tag and i'm going to paste it two times so first of all in this one let's say here web development then this one will be app development and this one will be digital marketing and let me just give hash inside the href so if we now save it then refresh here there you can see it will look like this so we are going to have a few more options like social link quick links and location so i can just directly copy this div ctrl c and i'm going to paste it here so this one will be social link so let's say here social names and here we are going to say facebook this one will be Instagram and this one will be Twitter. After that, we're going to have one more. This one will be quick links. Let's say here quick links. So here we are going to say call. Let me just show you. Here at the top, we have some links here. All products, contact, register and login. So we are going to give those links. Here, so we are going to say all. This one will be products. This one will be contact. Let me just copy this and paste it two times. So let's say this one will be register and this one will be login. So if we now save it, then refresh here. Then you can see we have few more options here. So we need to add on more. That will be location. So let me just copy this and I'll paste it here. I'm going to say here location. Location. So for location, there's no need to have any anchor tag. Let's just say here a random address Western Union Street House 27. And here, this one will be let's say email. Email will be my ecom at the rate of gmail.com and this one will be the phone number so let's say here phone a random number send it then if we now refresh there you can see we have the location here as well so right now we are going to make the design first of all we are going to have the footer background color as black so for it here you can see we have heap class footer and inside this class we have everything so let me just copy this and i'll go to our style.css and here we're going to set dot footer to second bracket we're going to set background color it will be black and width it will be 100 percent if we now save this then refresh here, it will look like this and here you can see that text color is black as well that's why we are unable to see some text so first of all let me just change the text color my icon and let's have it in the center so for it 
here in the index file here you can see my ecom is inside ht tag and the class name is putter title so i'll just copy this and i'm going to say here putter title is three tag to second bracket let's say the color it will be white and the font size it will be 27 or let's say here 32 px let's also add a padding 10 px and margin 10 px let's also make the font weight to be 24 and let's make the text align to be in the center so text align will be center save it then refresh and there you can see so let's have the services and social links everything color white so for it here you can see that the services is inside the h4 tag and every other title services social link quick links and location is inside the h4 tag and the h4 tag is inside the photo underscore content so we're going to say here dot footer underscore content then the h4 tag we're going to say here color will be in white i can just copy this from here actually and paste it here let's say the font size will be 25 bx and i think the font size is too big let's make it 20 bx let's save it and let's refresh and there you go so right now let's write the css for this location so for it here you can see that all those details is inside the p tag and those are inside the footer underscore content so we are going to say here dot footer underscore content we are going to mention the p tag to second bracket we say here color it will be white let's say here padding it will be 15 bx if we now save it refresh and there you go and the padding for those chains as well because here we mentioned p tag and all those services option is also inside the p tag as well so i think uh 10 ph would be better so right now what we're going to do is that we're going to change that color for the anchor tag so for it we're going to say here dot footer content anchor tag the color will be white save it refresh and there you go so right now obviously we do not show it like this we are going to show it in a single line so for it we are going to say uh, here you can see the class inside footer we have the footer portrait so we are going to say here dot footer then dot footer underscore content to second bracket we are going to say display it will be flex and justify content it will be spaced evenly if we now just put our browser and refresh then you can see it will look like so this looks good but this is not responsive if i just make our skin smaller here let me just go to footer section and if we make it smaller then you can see it is not responsive after a certain width the location will get hidden so we need to fix this so how can we fix it the solution is really simple again we're going to use that at the end of media query so we say here at the end of media we say max with let's say after 650 px we're going to change the footer design so we'll give to second bracket then we're going to copy this footer dot footer content and we're going to paste this here so that display will be flex and here we're going to set net direction it will be column let's also mention here text align it will be center 
So if we now save this and refresh here, and if our skin width is smaller than 650px, it will look like this. There you can see. So if we make it more smaller, it will be responsive. Our footer section. So let's do one thing, and that is when we take our cursor on those option, the color will change for the anchor tag. So let's go back and here you can see footer content anchor tag and just copy this, paste it here. I'm going to say here, hover, the color for the text will be let's say sky blue and the background will change to white or let's say the color will be black. If we now save it, then refresh here, and there you can see it will look like this. Go. So let me just add a copy right at the end. So for it, let's go our index file, and here, before the last day, I'm going to mention the footer tag. In the footer, I'm going to mention the HR, and it will look like this. HR will create a straight line okay so let me just say here h train and we set copyright at the rate of web tech knowledge 2030 if you now save this then refresh here there you can see there is a straight line here and you cannot see the text because the text color is black so let's change the text color. So here it is inside the footer tag. So we go to styling and here outside the second bracket, we are going to set the footer tag. Then the H3 tag to second bracket. We're going to set color, it will be white. Let's also add a padding. It will be 10 px. Margin, it will be 10 px. Text align, it will be center, and let's also add a font size, it will be 22 pips. Save it, refresh, and there you go. Now, let's do one more thing, and that is here you can see that the image size is different for each product card. So, let's have all the image size, uh, I mean the height, same. So, for it, let's go back to our code and if we just go at the top, a little at the top, here you can see the product card image and here you can see the class called p underscore image. So let's just add a height for this class. So let's go to our style.css and we'll find the p underscore image, which is this one. So here we are going to say height. Let's say it will be 250 px. If we now save this, then if we refresh now, there you can see all the image height and width is same. So let me just show you the responsiveness. So if I now click on inspect and if we just make this smaller, there you can see it is responsive as well. So this is all. So this is how you can make an e-commerce website using HTML and CSS. I hope this was easy for you to follow and in the next tutorial, we're going to make multiple authentication system using PHP. So make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.